All right, guys, in my last video, we found what the formulas were for angles that are on, inside, and outside of a circle. Okay, and we came up with those formulas. So today, we're going to come up with the answers to these four problems where we have to figure out, first off, is it on, inside, or outside? And then secondly, apply the formula to get what the correct answer is for these specific problems. Uh, let's first maybe go through and say whether it's on, inside, or outside, and then we'll work with the problems after that. This one, the angle it's looking for is inside the circle. So I'll just put a uh, inside right here. This next one, if it's um, outside the entire circle, that's where the angle K is, so this is outside. Outside the circle. This one again is outside the circle, that's where angle K is. And the last one, angle K is right on the circle. Remember we talked in the last video that the vertex, it's all depending on where that vertex of the angle is. Since the vertex is on the curve of the circle, we can say on. Okay, now that said, we can apply the particular formulas for each of these to our problem. Now with the inside one, that one, we have to take the arcs that are on either side, divide by two to find their average, and that'll be what angle K is. So here, I need to find this arc, in this arc, add those together, divide by two, and that's going to be my answer. So if I think about this, um, this arc here, I don't know. And so I'm going to have to take 360 minus 100 minus 130 minus, one, or minus 60, and that's going to be what's left over for this top part of that arc. So let's try it. 360 minus 100 is 260 minus 60 is 200 minus 130 gets me down to 70 degrees for that arc. So now you could think maybe just what's in between 60 and 70, or if you want to add those together, get 130, divide that by two, that's going to be um, 65 degrees for angle K right there. Again, if you want to add those up, we can take 70 plus 60 divided by two, or 130 divided by two, which is our 65. That's how I got that number. Uh, number two, this one is outside the circle. And so to find the one that's outside, we have to take the big arc, minus a small arc that's on the inside of those of our angle and divide that by two and that'll be the answer. So my big arc is 150 um, minus the small arc 70 divided by two. 150 minus 70 is 80, 80 divided by two is 40. So this angle, angle K right there would be 40 degrees. And the next one is also outside, but it only gives us, notice this part of the circle. However, to find the rest of the circle, I know that a circle is 360 degrees, right? And so if all of this is 360, and I only know this part is 160, well, 360 minus 160 is 200. So the rest of this arc right here is gonna be 200 degrees. Therefore, again, if I apply that same formula, big minus small, 200 minus 160, 200 minus 160, over 2, well 200 minus 160 is 40, and 40 divided by 2 gives me 20 degrees, 20 degrees for angle K. All right, last one, this is one where it's on the circle. Uh, this one we just have to double it to get the arc or take half of the arc to get its angle. And you can do these a few different ways. Um, this one, I would probably take half of 210, that's going to be 105. So that's not angle K, but that's actually this angle is 105, half of my arc, okay? And then I can just realize that this is all along a line and a linear pair, a line, linear pair, adds up to be 180. So 180 minus 105 is gonna be 75 degrees left, 75 degrees left for angle K. So over here I'll say angle K is 75 degrees. And just to double check that, 75 times two is gonna be 150 and so to double check, I can do that by taking, is this 210 plus 150, does that get me back to be 360? Yes, it does, all right? 210 plus 150 is 360, so therefore this works. All right, hey guys, if you didn't watch this video earlier, I'll link it right here for you. Otherwise, good luck finding your angles of circles that are on, inside, or outside those circles.